In this short video, we are going to look at how you'll be able to create visually rich report tooltip that pops up when your users hover their mouse over your visuals. So if you take a look at this dashboard we have here, we have this visual here, total revenue by category. So here we are looking at our total revenue by product category. But I want my users to get additional insight when they hover their mouse over any of the data points that we have here. So here if you take home and office product category, I want my users to be able to tell what percentage are we generating from our customers in terms of gender. So this tells you that if you take the total revenue for home and office product category, we have 51% of our revenue being generated from our female customers, whilst 49% is being generated from our male customers. Now if you hover your mouse over the total revenue for fashion here, it tells you that we have 48% of our revenue coming from the female customers, whilst 52% is coming from the male customers. And this is what we are going to learn how to create within Power BI in this short video. So the first thing that we need is to create a new page. So I'm going to click on this plus button here to create a new page. And now the next thing I'm going to do is to go to format and then go to page size. And here within the type, I'm going to click on the drop down here and select tooltip because I'm going to use this page here as a report tooltip. Now after selecting it, you can see that the size looks smaller. So when you go to view and you go to the page view, you see that this is at actual size. So here, this is how the tooltip will look like when it pops up. So here, if you go to the tooltip that I showed you, you can see that the size is exactly the same thing that we are seeing on the page. Now let's go back to the page here. Now the next thing we need to do is to come up with the visuals that we want to show when our users hover their mouse over those data points. So what I will do is to go to my thoughts. And I'm going to pick my customer agenda and my total orders. And then I'll go to my visualizations and pick this 100% stack. So here we have it here. So I'm going to resize this and then come to my faults. I'm going to move the customer agenda from the axis and place it within the agenda. And now we have it this way. So we have for males and then we have for females. Now what I'm going to do next is to change the data colors. So I'll go to format, data colors. For the females, I'm going to use this color here. Then for males, I'm going to use this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to turn on my data labels. So I'll go to data labels and then turn it on. So you'll be able to see the percentages. Now after doing that, I'm going to turn off the X as it's here. But before then, let me click on this to expand it and then turn off the title. And then turn it off entirely. So now I have it this way. Now if you take a look at the two tip here, we have this icon here showing for males and then a female. So what I will do is to go to that tooltip and copy those icons. So I'll select this and select this and then copy this. So if you want to use this, you just go to insert and then go to image. You'll be able to import the image into Power BI. So since I already have them here, I'm going to copy them and then go to the new tooltip page and I'm going to paste them here. So I have it here. So let me bring it down a bit. Now that's what we have. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to come up with a card which is going to show the product category. So what I will do is to go to my visualizations and click on a card and then look for my product category and then drop it into the folds. So I have it here. So what I will do is to resize this. And then go to format. So the first thing is to go to my data label and then resize this. So I'm going to use 13 and then change the font family. And then also change the color. So I'm going to use this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to turn off this category. So I'll come here and then turn it off. So now we have just the product. So here I want my users to be able to see the product that they have hovered their mouse over. So here when they come here, you can see that when they hover their mouse over home and office, they'll be able to see the name on the tooltip. If they come to maybe electronics, they'll be able to see the name here. And that's what we are doing here. So I'll just go back and now we have it here. So I'm going to resize it. And then also look at the visual that I have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to format the title. 
so here is total order by customer gender i'm going to remove the customer and make it just gender so here i'm going to make it percentage of total orders by gender then i'm going to change the font family and pick this and then also decrease the size to 10 and then change the color so i'm going to pick this and then resize this here so now we have it here let me resize this and then we position it here and here now after you are done with the design what you need to do is to click outside to deactivate any of the visuals so you'll be able to format the page so what i will do is to go to format and then go to page info now the next thing we need to do is to turn on this tooltip option here you have to turn it on for power bi to recognize this as a tooltip page so i'm going to turn it on and then you can also change the name so here we are looking at orders by gender tooltip okay now after you have done this you can click on this to collapse it then you come to the faults so here you can customize the faults that those two tips should show up when we use it on our visuals so here when they come to our report here we have total orders by product category now here when you hover your mouse over any of these data points you just see this default two tip you don't see the report two tip so i'm going to the report two tip page now what i'm going to do is to drag the total orders into the bucket here so what this means is that whenever i use the total orders to build any visual this tooltip will pop up so after doing this let's go back to the dashboard and now when you hover your mouse over this you can see that now you'll be able to see the tooltip because we have configured the tooltip to show up whenever we use the total orders on any of the visuals now if you take a look at this this is showing the total orders by product category and when you select this visual and then you go to the first you can see that we are using the total orders now because within the report to the page we have dragged this into the pane here wherever it sees total orders in any of the visuals this tooltip will pop up so when i go here you'll be able to see it from here so this tells you that if you take health and beauty we have 48 percent of our total orders coming from female customers whilst 52 is coming from the males now if you move on to fashion we have different story if you move on to phones and tablets we have a different story and then we move on to home and office we also have another story so that's how you'll be able to configure a tooltip within power bi manually you can also configure it on the visuals so let's assume that this one is not showing this report tooltip you can just select it and then go to format now you see that we have tooltip here if it's turned off you have to turn it on and then click on this to expand it when you click on this you have type so when you click on the drop down we have two we have default and then report page so by default when you click on this you'll be able to see this two tip now i have to change this to report to tip and from the page the name of all your two tips will pop up so that's the more reason why you have to turn on the report to tip option on the report to tip page so here all the two tips will come then you just select the one you want to apply so this is the one that we want to apply so i'm going to click on this and that's it so now when you hover your mouse over this you'll be able to see the report to tip so that's how you'll be able to create visually insight for report to tip that pops up when your users hover their mouse over any of your visuals